Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2023. Today I'm going to recap the college basketball, NBA, and NHL games from yesterday. Look ahead to tonight in the weekend's games in each sport. NFL Super Wild Card Weekend. I'll make my picks for the games for tomorrow and Sunday. We'll go over the latest soccer. We'll go over to the leaderboard for the Sony Open. News and notes and best bet. We'll start with college basketball. We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to a busy weekend ahead. Minnesota over Ohio State, 70-67. Georgia Southern over App State, 67-65. Stetson over Bellarmine, 80-51. Iowa over Michigan, 93-84 in overtime. UNC Asheville over Longwood, 54-46. Troy over Georgia State, 65-53. Colton Carolina over Old Dominion, 67-66. Youngstown State over Detroit, 84-79. Oakland over Robert Morris, 65-69. Purdue Fort Wayne over IUPUI, 70-55. Stony Brook over Drexel, 67-66. Liberty over North Alabama, 72-54. Central Arkansas over Queens, 92-91. Kennesaw State over Jacksonville, 81-68. Jacksonville State over North Florida, 72-63. Eastern Kentucky over Florida Gulf Coast, 97-76. Louisiana over Yale Monroe, 86-73. Texas State over Arkansas State, 61-58. South Alabama over James Madison, 63-62. UMKC over St. Thomas, 81-60. Oral Roberts over Western Illinois, 87-63. Omaha over North Dakota, 69-63. Wright State over Green Bay, 99-67. Milwaukee over Northern Kentucky, 80-75. Southeast Missouri State over Lindenwood, 91-74. I'm sorry, 94-71. HC over A&M Commerce, 69-59. Southeast Louisiana over Corpus Christi, 85-82 in overtime. 10 Tech over Moorhead State, 79-62. Edwardsville over Eastern Illinois, 80-62. Lamar over Nichols, 69-66. USC over Colorado, 68-61. Arizona State over Oregon, 90-73. Northwestern State over McNeese, 89-75. New Orleans over Incarnate Word, 85-79 in overtime. Grand Canyon over Texas Arlington, 80-48. Southern Utah over Sam Houston, 86-74. Stephen F. Austin over Utah Tech, 85-72. St. Mary's over Loyola Merriment, 76-62. Marshall over Southern Miss, 89-67. North Dakota State over Denver, 90-70. Tennessee Martin over Tennessee State, 77-66. Southern Indiana over Little Rock, 74-67. Weber State over Montana, 59-57. Montana State over Idaho State, 81-68. Lipscomb over Austin P, 87-65. Number 8, Gonzaga over BYU, 75-74. Seattle over New Mexico State, 69-66. San Diego over Pepperdine, 92-89. Long Beach State over Cal Poly, 77-58. Sac State over Northern Colorado, 72-64. Portland State over Northern Arizona, 75-74. Number 7, UCLA over Utah, 68-49. Number 9, Arizona over Oregon State, 86-74. Wazoo over Stanford, 86-69, and Portland over San Francisco, 92-87. All right, not a lot of games tonight. 5 o'clock on ESPNU, you have Yale and Cornell. My name's Cornell by 3 and a half, total 142 and a quarter. And we got Cornell likely favored. We'll find out in a second. So pick them at 145 and a half. But the money line is Cornell minus 111, Yale's minus 108. Um, Cornell minus at the half and minus 110 is worth more than the the minus 111 at this point. On the money line, um, 630 CBS Sports Network, Kent State, Ohio. My line is Kent by 7, total 141 and 3 quarters, and it's 3.5 and, and 141 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay it with Kent State. Big Ten Network at 7 o'clock. Nebraska at number 3. Purdue, my line is Purdue by 19 half, total 135 and 13.20. It's, and it's 14 half and 131 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay the points of Purdue. Next up, St. Peter's and Knipiak. My projected line here is Knipiak by 11 half, total 133 and 9 tenths. And it is nine and a half and one thirty two and a half. I'm gonna lay to nine and a half with uh, Knipiak. Sienna Niagara. My line is 
Santa by three and three quarters, so it'll 134 and seven twentieths. And it's one and a half and one twenty-eight and a half. Over. Manhattan and Mount St. Mary's. My line is Manhattan by seven, total one thirty-six and a twentieth. And it's Mount St. Mary's by six and a half, total one twenty-nine and a half. Whoo. That's wild. Let me see if this is correct. This is something I certainly was not expecting. Yeah, that is the correct line. My correct projection. Holy crap. Um, give me Manhattan plus six and a half and plus 245 outright. Fairfield, Iona. My line is Iona by 13 and a quarter, total 136 and 7 tenths, and it's 14 and a half and 136 and a half. Slight lean to Fairfield against the Fairfield spread. Maris, Canisius. My line is Maris by a half, total 136 and 7 tenths. And it's Canisius by three and a half, total 13 and a half. Um, I have a larger edge on the over, so I'm going to take over 130 and a half. Um, Fox Sports 1, Villanova Butler. My line is Villanova by 2, total 137 and 11 twentieths. And we got 1 and a half and 133 and a half over. Eastern Michigan and Akron on ESPNU. My line for this is. Akron by 14 and a half to the 143 and 6 tenths. And it's 13 and a half and 141 and a half. Over. Fox Sports 1, Michigan State, Illinois. My line is Illinois by 3 to the 137 and 19 twentieths. And it is 6 and a half and 136 and a half. Give me Sparty plus the 6 and a half. I love Sparty here. ESPN 2, VCU Dayton. My line is. Dayton by five and three quarters, total one thirty one and nine twentieths, and it's seven and a half and one twenty nine and a half. Um, slight over. And last but not least for Friday, Utah State Nevada, eleven o'clock Fox Sports one. My line is Nevada by three, total one forty three and a half, and it's one half and one forty three and a half. The closest projections of the show. Um, slight lean Nevada. All right, the Saturday window. Um, any big time matchups um, that I have projections for already, I'll give them out. Um, Twelve o'clock, ESPN Kentucky, number five Tennessee, number sixteen Miami at NC State, ESPN two West Virginia Oklahoma, Fox Sports one Seen Hall DePaul, ESPN U Davis and George Mason, Cleveland State IPUI, Drexel Northeastern, twelve thirty Loyola Chicago St. Joe's, one o'clock CBS, number eighteen Wisconsin Indiana. Holy Cross Lafayette, Army BU, Maine UMBC, Bryant New Hampshire, Columbia Harvard, George Ole Miss on the SEC Network, Western Carolina at the Citadel, Bowling Green Western Michigan, Secretary of State from Brooklyn, Fairleigh Dickinson Central Connecticut, Robert Morris Detroit, North Alabama and Queens, North Dakota State Omaha, 2 o'clock ESPN 2, number 11 Kansas State, number 17 TCU. My projected line is TCU by 3. ESPNU, number 15, Arkansas, Vanderbilt, Fox Sports 1, number 19, Providence, Creighton, UCF, Tulane, Bucknell, Colgate, American Lehigh, North Texas, FAU. Um, my line here is FAU 3.5. That's a big game. Um, ESPN, North Carolina, Louisville, UMass Law, Binghamton, Penn Dartmouth, Princeton Brown, UTSA, Charlotte, UNC Asheville, Garner Webb, Charleston Southern, Radford, Winthrop, Campbell, Miami of Ohio, Ball State, Merrimack, Stonehill, Coastal Carolina, Georgia State. Delaware Hofstra, Stony Brook NCAT, North Florida Kennesaw State, 2.30 Richmond St. Bonaventure, 3 o'clock on the ACC Network, Pitt Georgia Tech, UTEP Bryce, Fordham LaSalle, Steve F. Austin, Southern Utah, Southern Miss Arkansas State, Texas State, Yale Monroe, North Dakota Denver, Southeast Missouri State, Moorhead State, Youngstown State, Oakland, CBS Sports Arc, Malmouth Towson, Stetson Eastern Kentucky, 3.30 on the SEC Network, number 20 Missouri at Florida, um, 
I'm seeing if I have a line here. Florida by two, only because um, I just think that uh, the lines that I project is sketchy. Uh, four o'clock, you have number 14, Iowa State, and number two, Kansas. My projected line here is Kansas by nine and three quarters. On ESPN, you have LSU Al- and number four, Alabama. My line here is Alabama by 12 and a half. ESPN 2, number 13, Virginia, Florida State. Elon at number 22, Charleston. SC State, NC Central, Arkansas, Pueblo, Florida A&M. Tulsa, Wichita. ESPN, U, Cincinnati, SMU. Grabling Southern. Miss Valley State, Bethune. Delaware State, Maryland Eastern. Morgan State, Coppin State. Pac-12 Network, Arizona State, Oregon State. UIC, Murray State. Valpo, Evansville. UAB, La Tech. Howard, Norfolk State. Northwestern State, Nichols. St. Louis, George Washington. Mercer East, Tennessee State. UNC, Greensboro, Furman. LIU, St. Fran, PA, Louisiana, South Alabama, Troy App State, Tennessee State, Tennessee Tech, Irvine, Northridge, Gulf Coast, Bellarmine, 430, New Orleans, A&M, Corpus Christi, he's a Christian Middle McNeese, Rhode Island, UMass, Buffalo, Central Michigan, Toledo, Northern Illinois, Little Rock, Eastern Illinois, a big one that should be on a bigger network than the ACC network, number 24, Duke at Clemson. My projection here is Clemson by one and a half. Northern Iowa, Belmont, Navy, Loyola, Maryland, SC, Louisiana, Incarnate Word, Abilene Christian, Tarleton, CBS Sports, Eric William and Marion, UNC, Wilmington, UC San Diego, Bakersfield, Fullerton, Davis, Northern Arizona, Sac State, Austin P. Lipscomb, Jacksonville, Jacksonville State, Lamar and AM Commerce at 5 36 o'clock, ESPN, number nine, Arizona, and Oregon. ESPN 2, Oklahoma State at Baylor, Alcorn State, Texas Southern, Cal Washington, SEC Network, A&M at South Carolina, ESPN U, Chattanooga, Sanford, Weber State, Montana State, Jackson State, Prairie View, Lindenwood, SIU, Edwardsville, 630, as well as Jackson State, Prairie View, um, Idaho, Eastern Washington, 7 o'clock, FIU, Western Kentucky, ACC Network, Notre Dame, Syracuse, Albany, NJIT, CBS Sports Network, Colorado State, UNLV, Air Force Fresno, SC Upstate Longwood, Presbyterian High Point, VMI Wofford, Old Dominion Marshall, Georgia Southern James Madison, South Dakota State, South Dakota, Northern Kentucky Green Bay, Wright State, Milwaukee, Central Arkansas Liberty, 730 Chicago State, Texas Rio Grande, 8 o'clock on Fox, Colorado at number 7 UCLA, ESPN Texas Tech at number 10 Texas, Pac-12 Network Stanford Wazoo, Illinois State Southern Illinois, ESPN U, Bradley Drake, Wake, B.C., Seattle, and Utah Valley, St. Thomas, Oral Roberts, Western Illinois, Kansas City, SEC Network, A30, Mississippi State at number 21, Auburn. My line for this one is Auburn by 10 and a quarter. Um, Tennessee Martin, Southern Indiana, 9 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, New Mexico at number 23, San Diego State. My line here is San Diego State by 10. Um... Texas Arlington, New Mexico State, Sam Houston, Utah Tech, Santa Clara Pacific, Pepperdine BYU, Idaho State, Montana, ESPN2, Portland at number 8, Gonzaga, Grand Canyon, Cal Baptist, Loyola, Merriman, Host, San Diego, UC Riverside at Santa Barbara, Northern Colorado, Portland State, um, Pac-12 Network, 1030, Utah, USC, 11 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Boise State, Wyoming, San Mary, San Fran, and Midnight Long Beach State, Hawaii. Sunday, Fox Sports 1 at noon. St. John's at number 6, UConn on Fox. We have number 25, Marquette at number 12, Xavier. Um, I'm going to make a projection here on the spot. That is such a monster game between those two programs. Um... My projection for this is Xavier by seven. Maris, Niagara, Big Ten, Northwestern, Michigan, one o'clock ESPN two, South Florida, East Carolina, Ryder, Iona, Sanina, uh, Sienna, Canisius, two o'clock Fairfield, St. Peters, Canipiac, Mount St. Mary's, Big Ten, Network two fifteen, Ohio State, Rutgers, three o'clock ESPN two, Memphis, Temple. Indiana State, Missouri State, and 4-3 on the Big Ten Eric Maryland and Iowa. So not a lot of games on Sunday. I think they just wanted to clear the window for the NFL. All right, now move on to the NBA. Um, 
I think that's the quickest we ever done a weekend uh, college basketball slate. Um, I think it's because of the lack of games tonight and Sunday. So, NBA time. Uh, last night's results, Thunder over to Sixers, 133-114. Celtics over to Nets, 109-98. Heat over to Bucks, 108-102. Raptors over to Hornets, 124-114. Mavs over to Lakers, 119-115 in double overtime. And the Cavs over to Blazers, 119-113. All right, tonight's window, we have nine games. First up, 7 o'clock, Pelicans-Pistons. Um, my projection for this is the Pelicans by nine, a quarter total, 231 and 7 twentieths. Um, the weird thing is that the injuries and stuff... Um... Okay, now some of them are popping up here. So first up, um, Pelicans Pistons from Detroit. Um, my projection is Pistons only getting a quarter total two thirty one and seven twentieths, and it is five and two thirty four and a half. I'm going to take Detroit getting the five points. Hawks Pacers. My line is Hawks by five and a half total two thirty one and three tenths, and it's two and two thirty eight and a half under. No Halliburton. I love the under. Um, Knicks Wizards. My line is the Knicks by six total two twenty five and three twentieths, and it's four and a half and two twenty two. Kind of like the over. Seven thirty ESPN from the Alamo Dome. Warriors Spurs. Um, I projected this as if it was a Spurs home game because it's at the Alamo Dome. So this isn't really a neutral site. This is the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. So my line here is the Warriors by 11 half total 223 or 233 and 19 20ths and it's eight and a half and two forty four. Whoo, that total's high. Give me the under. Um no Devin Vassal for San Antonio. Thunder Bulls. Um Oh, I skipped that game. On the list. Hang on, guys. Oops. Okay, yeah, I can't believe I, like, totally missed that game. Projection, um, the Bulls by four total, 231 and 320 and it is four and a half and 235 under. Suns, Timberwolves, my line's Minnesota by nine and a quarter, total 227 and a fifth, and it's five and 223 and a half. I love Minnesota. Like, for real, I love Minnesota in this spot. But my bigger edge lies on the over, so I have to take the over. Oh, wait. No, my bigger edge does lie on um, on Minnesota. Never mind. Oh, my God. Next up, Magic Jazz, 9 o'clock. My line is the Jazz by 1 3 quarters, total 229 and 920ths, and it's 5 and a half and 233 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Orlando getting the points. ESPN, 10 o'clock, Nuggets Clippers. My line is Nuggets by 6 and 3 quarters, total 224 and 7 tenths. No Paul George tonight. And it's Clips by two, total 225. Oh, my God. The wrong team's favored. Come on. Give me Denver plus two and plus 114. And last but not least, Rockets, Kings. My line is Kings by 17, total 239. Tenth, and it's 10 and 236 and a half. I like the Kings. Um. All right, Saturday, 1 o'clock on ABC. Bucks heat a rare... um. ABC Saturday day game. You haven't seen that in the wild. It's going to be Breen Jackson and Van Gundy on the call on that one. 7 o'clock, Celtics, Hornet, Grizzlies, Pacers, Hawks, Raptors at 7.30, 8 o'clock, Cavs, Wolves, 9 o'clock, Sixers, Jazz, and 10 o'clock, Mavs, Blazers. Sunday, 1 o'clock, Knicks, Pistons, 3 o'clock, Rockets, Clippers, 3.30, Warriors, Bulls, 6 o'clock, Thunder, Nets, 7 o'clock, King Spurs, 8 o'clock, Magic Nuggets, 9 o'clock. Mavs Blazers at 9.30 on NBA TV. Sixers Lakers. So, 
A double header at crypto.com on Sunday. All right, now I'll move on to the NHL. We will recap the games from yesterday and look ahead to everything going on over the weekend. Um, Kraken over the Bruins, 3-0. Jets over the Sabres, 4-2. Canes over the Jackets, 6-2. Red Wings over the Leafs, 4-1. Habs over the Preds, 4-3. Rangers steal one from the Stars, 2 on an OT on a game winner by Adam Fox after Keandre Miller ties the game with a ninth of a second left. Lightning over the Canucks, 5-4. Wild over the Islanders, 3-1. Flames over the Blues, 4-1. Blackhawks upset the Avs, 3-2. Sens over the Coyotes, 5-3. And the Golden Knights over the Panthers, 4-2. All right, three tonight. Seven o'clock, Jets, Pens from Pittsburgh. Um, Pens minus 184, Jets plus 152, over under six and a half. Overs minus 106, unders minus 114. Jets plus one half is minus 70, Pens minus one half is plus 136. I love the over in this game. Love it. But I also really like the Jets, too. But the safer picks the over, and Pittsburgh's overvalued. Devils, Ducks. Devils, 3 to 1. Favorites, Ducks, plus 240 over under 6.5. Overs, minus 118. There's minus 104. Devils, minus 1.5 is minus 118. Ducks, plus 1.5 is minus 104. I'm going Ducks, puck line, plus 1.5 and minus 104. And 1030, Oilers, Sharks. Oilers, minus 162. Sharks, plus 134. Over under 6.5. Overs, minus 128. Unders, plus 104. Oilers, minus 1.5 is plus 152. Sharks, plus 1.5 is minus 188. I'm going to go with Edmonton in regulation at minus 104. Big day Saturday, 2 o'clock NHL Network, Flame Stars, 7 o'clock NHL Network, Leafs, Bruins, Pens, Canes, Sens, Avs, Blue Jackets, Red Wings, Canucks, Panthers, Habs, Islanders, Flyers, Capitals, 8 o'clock Kraken, Blackhawks, Coyotes, Wild, Sabres, Preds, Lightning, Blues, 10 o'clock Oilers, Golden Knights, 10.30 Devils, Kings. Sunday, three games, 5 o'clock Canucks, Hurricanes, Canadians, Rangers, both at 5 and at 7 o'clock on the NHL Network, you have the Coyotes and the Jets. All right, here we go. NFL wild card picks. We're just going to do five of the six games because obviously there's one being played on Monday night, so we'll save Monday night for Monday night. Um, so first up, 4.30 on Fox, you have the Seahawks and the 49ers. You have Joe Davis Daryl Johnson and Pam Oliver on the call. Uh, my projection here is San Francisco by nine and a half, total 45 and three twentieths. And the line is nine and a half and 42. I love the over. Seattle's defense is hot garbage. I think the Niners are going to put up 30 plus in this game. And I could see Seattle getting some garbage time points to propel the over. This is one of my favorite picks of the weekend, so give me over 42 and minus 105. 815, NBC, Al Michaels and Tony Dungy on the call on this one. So Al Michaels back on NBC for Chargers Jaguars. My projection for this game is the Jacksonville Jaguars as a three-point home favorite. Total 45, and it's 2.5 and, and 47.5. And Give me the dog. This is my dog of the week. Jaguars plus 2.5 and, and plus 118 to win outright and go to the second round of the playoffs to take on either the Kansas City Chiefs or the Buffalo Bills. Or the Cincinnati Bengals. Or yeah, that would make sense. Not the Bengals. Either the the Chiefs or the Bills. Um or the Bengals on paper would make sense if the uh The, yeah, the Bengals are in play for them in the next round. You never know. 
So it's either going to be at KC, at Buffalo, or at Cincinnati. But I'd say it's more likely or not Kansas City or Buffalo. Um, and the long shot would be Cincinnati. Um, Sunday, 1 o'clock, CBS, Dolphins, Bills, Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson on the call. Um, a lot of people think that this game should not have been in this time spot. And um, I do agree with that because I know Tua Tungavaloa. But, I mean, I think there's a reason why the Bills are in the 1 o'clock window with the A team on CBS for the second consecutive week. Um, so my projection for here is Bills 13.5, total 46 and 3 fits, and it's 13.5 and 43.5. And I like the over, even though uh, two is not playing. I think Josh Allen in that Bills offense is going gonna, is gonna to roll. They're going to roll. And maybe Miami does like get some garbage time points or whatnot. So I see the under and the logistics. But I could also see Miami just throwing in the towel a little bit. And the Bills could, dare I say, go over by themselves. I could see this being 41-10 to or something like that. Four thirty on Fox. Giants, Vikings, Kevin Burkhart, Greg Olson, Tom Rinaldi on the call. Um, Aaron Andrews too. Um, so it's this first go around for this group for the lead team on Fox in the postseason. My projection is Minnesota by eight and a half total forty six. And thirteen twenty eighths, and it's three and forty eight and a half. I, I'm dreading this pick. Dreading the pick. Absolutely dreading the pick. I want to be wrong here, because if you know me personally, you know I'm a big New York Giants fan. So, for the reverse jinx, I'm going to lay the three with Minnesota. Uh, and then. Uh, 815 on NBC, you have the Ravens and the Bengals. Um, no Lamar Jackson in this one. Um, Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth on the call, and um, Melissa Stark. Uh, my projections Bengals by 12 and a half, total 42 and 13 20 and it's nine and a half and 40 and a half. I'm glad that this number went down. I'm laying the nine and a half with the Bengals against the Ravens. As I think they'll win by double digits. All right, now I will um, go over notable soccer from yesterday and look ahead to everything going on over the weekend. Uh, the Spanish Super Coda. Um, so it was a 2 2 game, and I went to penalties as Barcelona advances 4 2 over Betis. And the final is. Sunday, 2 o'clock on ABC, Real Madrid and Barcelona should be an awesome game. Um, so, Barcelona's plus 135, Real Madrid plus 165, draw 250. Barcelona's hot right now. I'm taking them plus 135 to win at Real Madrid to win the Spanish Super Coda. English Premier League, um, Fulham over Chelsea 2-1. 3 o'clock today of Austin Villa and Leeds. Um, Aston Villa is minus 105. Leeds is 280. Draw 250. I'm going to lay with Austin Villa, minus 105. I'm not going to do betting picks for games being played over the weekend in soccer. I'm just going to do um, the ones today. Although I did do the, the uh, Real Madrid-Barcelona one because that's a big one. Um, so this is also a big one. Man United-Man City at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday. 10 o'clock 
uh, Brighton and Liverpool, Everton and Southampton, Nottingham Forest and Leicester, Wolves and West Ham and 12-30 Brentford, Bournemouth. And then Sunday, 9 o'clock Chelsea and Crystal Palace, Newcastle full in both 9 o'clock games, and then 11-30 of Tottenham and Arsenal. Copa Italia, um, yesterday, uh, Fiorentina over Sampdoria 1-0, and AS Roma over Genoa 1-0. No Copa Italia until Tuesday. Um, Liga MX, um, Atlas over Mazatlan 2-1. And then today, at 8 o'clock, you have Atlantic San Luis and Guadalajara. Um... You have Guadalajara plus 150, Atletico San Luis plus 175, draw 220. We're going with the draw 220. And Puebla and Querétaro. Puebla, um, even money. Querétaro 250, draw 240. We're going with uh, Puebla at even money. Saturday, 6 o'clock, Cruz Azul and Monterrey. Juarez and Tijuana at 8 o'clock. Also, uh, Toluca and America. And at 10 o'clock, you have Santos and UNAM. And on Sunday, 8 o'clock, you have uh, Tigres and Pachuca. And at Copa de la Reina, um, Real Madrid over Fundacion 6-0. And Athletic over Madrid CFF 1-0. Quarterfinals for the Spanish Copa de la Reina will begin... On Monday, um, so any other top soccer that needs to go over? Yes, um, Italian Serie A two forty five. You have Napoli and Juventus. Really interesting game, um. Napoli minus 105, Juventus 290, draw 230, go with Napoli at minus 105. Saturday, 9 o'clock, you have uh, Criminose and Monza. 12 o'clock, you have Lesse and Milan. And at 245, you have Inter Milan and Verona. And then Sunday, 6.30 a.m., Sassuolo and Lazio. 9 o'clock, Torino and Spezia. Udines and Bologna. 12 o'clock, at Atalanta. And... Salernitana, and then 2.45, you have A.S. Roma and Fiorentina. Um, French League 1, Saturday, 11 o'clock, Lens and Auxerre. Martial and Lorient, and 3 o'clock, Lyon and Strasbourg. Sunday, 7 o'clock, Lille and Troyes, Angers and Clermont Foot. Uh, the first game I mentioned was at 7. The second was at 9. Uh, Montepellier and Nantes. Reims and Nice. Toulouse and Brest. 11 o'clock. Monaco and 8. C. Ajaccio. And 245, you have Rennes and PSG. And then the third round of the English um, FA Cup will um, resume on Tuesday. So. Looking forward to covering that. All right, now I'll move on to golf. Um, we'll go over the current leaderboard for the Sony Open. Your leader right now with a score of six unders, a tie. Jordan Spieth tied, or I'm sorry, Taylor Montgomery and Chris Kirk tied for fourth with five under. Ben Griffin, um, Dylan McCarthy, Rory Sabatini, Seung Hung Kim, Harry English, Davis Lipsky, Brendan Todd, tie for 11th with four under. JJ Spawn, Ben Taylor, Andrew Novak, Austin Smotherman, Harry Hall, Cam Davis, Stuart Sink, KJ Choi, Joseph Winslow, Brendan Steele, Maverick McGeely. Tie for 22nd with three unders, a pretty big tie. Saibu Kim, Patton Kazir, JT Potts, MJ Dolphe, Aaron Rice, Stefan Yeager, Augusto Nunez, Doc Redman, Anyu Chun, 
um, Kramer Hickok, um, Kevin Roy, Austin Eckrot, Hayden Buckley, Chesar V, Zach Blair, Trevor Werblio, Brian Harmon, Alex Baddeley, and Ryan Henley. Tied for 41st with two under, Chad Ramey, um, Taylor Hogue, Mark Hubbard, Anders Albertson, Troy Merritt, Joseph Vermont, Hideki Matsuyuma, Estan Nizalo Goya, um, Adam Long, Robert Strav, Emiliano Grio. Tied for 53rd with one under um, Kurt Katayama, Eric Cole, Ryan Brem, Tyson Alexander, Scott Harrington, Sam Ryder, Carson Young, Nicholas Echeverria, um, Nate Lashley, Will Gordon, uh, Brandon Wu, um, Kazuki Higa, Davis Thompson, um, Kato Onishi, Adam Scott, Michael Thompson, Corey Connors, Danny Lee, Webb Simpson, Zach Johnson, Russell Knox, Ryan Moore, um, Parker McLaughlin, Kyle Kraft, and Kyung Hoon Lee. Tie for 79th at evens, a pretty big tie. There's some the notables at this point. Uh, ben Grant, Adam Shank, Max McGreevy, Victor Norman, um, Bryce Garnett, Ryan or Moore, Kevin Tway, Nate Taylor, Matt Kuchar, that was my pick, Adam Putnam, Peter Molnati, tie for 101st with one over, Scott Stevens, Kyle Stanley, Ryan Palmer, Brian Stewart, tie for 115th with two over, Tyler Duncan, Harry Higgs, Brett Horschel, Mackenzie Hughes, tie for 126 with three over, Richie Wierenski, Robbie Shelton, Dylan Lingmer, Chase and Hadley, Tie for 133rd with four over in Christian Ziedenhound, Keith Mitchell. Tie for 136 with five over Michael Gillick or Gilgic and Kevin Strillman. Tie for 138th with six over Gary Woodland and Matthias Schwab. And that's it among notables. All right, now I'll move on to news and notes for today. Um, not that much to talk about. For news and notes. Um, so. Um, the NFL. Announces the stadium that would host. A potential AFC championship game. Between Buffalo and Kansas City. And it was given to Atlanta's. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So that. I guess would be. A neutral site by definition. Um, so it's going to be in a dome. I. Rather have it been outdoors, personally. Um, just because. But I see why they didn't do that. Because they didn't want to risk weather. So part of me understands that. Um, from that reason. Um, although we did have a Super Bowl in MetLife Stadium. Granted, it um, did not... Like Snow or Ranger in the Super Bowl, which was a good thing. Um, but if it was at MedLife Stadium, people would have pointed to, oh, that's a home field advantage for the Bills. And say if they were to have it at, hmm, I don't know, AT&T Stadium in Dallas, people are like, oh, that's going to be a lot of Chiefs fans at that game. So they had to pick somewhere kind of in the middle. So I think that's a good um, venue. Peyton Hillis off the ventilator um, as he uh, is recovering after a swimming accident when he was saving his two children in a riptide. So that's good news. Um, So Derek Carr had custom diamond pendants made for teammates 
as goodbye gifts uh, for uh, Devontae Adams and Max Crosby. So that's nice. So he's either getting cut or he's getting traded. The question is where. The front runner for Sean Payton looks like it's the Denver Broncos. As Payton likes their stable ownership and would be happy to work with Russ. Jim Irsay tweets that they interviewed Eric Bieniemy for its head coaching openings. That's really cool to see. And Derek Carr's supposed to be a part of the trade process for the Raiders. So that's good. Um, Lamar obviously out against the Bengals. We talked about that already. He said he wishes he could be out there with his guys more than anything. Eagles defensive end Josh Sweat back at practice. Saying he's good to go for the postseason. So that's good news for Philly. Mike Williams questionable. Did not practice. And will be a game time decision against the Jaguars. Ooh. Um. So, um. Mayor Eric Adams gives Aaron Judge a key to the city. He says honor is the least we can do after Judge's historic season. So that's pretty cool. Um of him to say that. Um their team's eyeing a Raldis Chapman. Whew. I wouldn't sign him at all. I think he's done. Um Sad football news Charles White passes away at the age of sixty four from cancer. So thoughts and prayers go out to uh his former SC teammates and family and friends. Um, so, Ricky Rubio came back against the Blazers last night. That was cool. Um, Jalen Brown will be out a week or two with an adductor strain, so that's not good for Boston. Tyrese Halliburton out two weeks as he suffered a sprained left elbow and mild left knee bone contusion during that game against the Knicks. An NBA executive compared Scoot Henderson to John Wall and Russell Westbrook. That's some high praise. And in any other year, he'd be the number one overall pick, but that Victor Wembanyama guy is also in play. Or, I I should say, um, not really in play. I should say will be the number one pick in the draft because he's a generational prospect. Um, so, there is a picture what many people thought was... Um, a leaked shoe from Jason Tatum. And then Tatum comes out and says the leaked photo of his signature shoe wasn't the real picture, so it was fake. And then Derek Carr did have his uh, emotional goodbye post that he posted on social media. Um, The TNT crew is ready for Shaq, as he said if TCU lost, he'd eat horn frogs. The Lakers twerk out Myers Leonard on Friday, so that's interesting. The Canadians honor P.K. Subban, um, which was pretty cool. And Subban says he felt like he could have helped a number of teams before retiring this offseason. The Chicago Bears to hire Kevin Warren to be its new team president and CEO. So that's very interesting. And AAA to use robot umpires. All 30 AAA ballparks will use electronic strike zone to call games this season. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, no Fab Five because the picks 
I gave out were the five for the Fab Five for the NFL. Um, so best bet. There's a couple I like. There's a college basketball one that stood out a lot. Um. So, I'm going to lay a half unit on best bet. It's actually a Metro Atlantic game. I alluded to it earlier in the podcast. There's a team that I think um, shouldn't be a favorite that's a big favorite in, in, a, in a Metro Atlantic game, and that is Mount St. Mary. So I'm going to go against them and take Manhattan getting the six and a half. That is way too many points. It's minus 104, laying a half unit on it. Manhattan plus six and a half against Mount St. Mary's for best bet. All right, so that's it for the show. I'll be back on Monday recapping everything from the weekend, looking ahead to Cowboys Bucks on Monday night, which should be a lot of fun. And obviously, um, news and notes and best bet too. Have a great weekend, everyone.